Good morning. Happy Easter. This is Alyssa and Brittany and Lily coming to you uh, for our podcast number six. And today they're going to be showing us some cheerleader hair. So Lily is a cheerleader and they actually um, won a bunch of competitions this year also, right? Oh yeah. Took first place at almost every single one. That's incredible. <laughs> So Brittany, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself or, you know, your family, how you got started, how long you've been doing hair for? No, <laughs> she says 200 years. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> it does actually. Um, so I actually just graduated from beauty school back in October. Um, I've done a lot of things beforehand, never really knew what I wanted it to be when I grew up. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, but having kids and two guys who need haircuts every three weeks, I figured I needed to kind of learn how to do them myself. And YouTube didn't teach me very well. <laughs> um, thankfully, when I was in beauty school, I had a teacher who loved to do men's cuts and barbering. So I actually learned really quickly, really well on how to cut men's hair. Um, with this one, I keep trying to cut her hair. She won't let me. She goes, no, I need the long, pretty hair like you, mom. <laughs> she's like mm, girl yeah <laughs> so yeah so then I we started her with cheerleading I coach um not her cheer team one of the teams below hers and um we went to nationals this past January was it yes. January February and I was the mom of bumps so if everyone remembers those big old snooky bumps from a few years ago I knocked out 32 bumps in one weekend <laughs> That's incredible. It was fun. We like doing cheer hair every morning, 5 a.m. on the weekends. We're up in the bathroom, pulling hair tight and curling like crazy. No, in the rooms. No, we did it in the bathroom here at home. Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> really? <laughs> Lily, do you have a favorite cheerleading hairstyle that your mom's done for you before? Mm. Do you like the bumps better or no bump? No bump. No bump. All the girls hated the bumps. Oh. <laughs> They're like, not only is it painful, it's just ugly. And I'm like, these are the cutest hairstyles I have ever I seen. <laughs> I want to like a braid down here and a ponytail for it. Um, she likes the braid and ponytails. Oh, yeah. Classic. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, which one are we going to do on your hair today? You want a bump or do you want a braid? Braid. You want a braid? With that ponytail. With the ponytail? A high ponytail? All right. All right. So <laughs> what's in your toolbox there, Brittany? What do we have going on? This is my take everywhere cheer bag. <laughs> we always start off with a wand. So Lily has really fine hair. So I really only use like this part of the wand to really curl her hair to make sure that it will last all day long. I'm not going to curl your hair today. <laughs> um, like, <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> this, I bought the Suave Detangler. It's really just water anymore. I keep just putting water on top because hair, her hair especially, is easier to slick back if it's wet, aside from dry, because she's got these flyaways. Her hair does not grow evenly, and she won't let me cut it. <laughs> so our flyaway tamer is this boar's head bristle, bristle brush. This actually works really well. Can you come sit Ow. right here? So, works really well to pull the hair taut. Can you turn so she can see? And it gets it nice and smooth. To really smooth out, my favorite go-to spray has always been Gotta Be Glued, which is like the best for cheer hair. It holds really well, literally glues the hair. And then if we're doing braids, I just start with Big and Sexy Spray and Play. It helps me with the little hairs and it helps move it around a little bit without getting too sticky. Mm -hmm. Still. <laughs> oh, did I have to put that on? Well, you said you wanted a braid. Do you want your braid to show or do you want it to hide? No. You want it to show? Where's my comb? Oh, the comb. We'll use the fat one for now so I can see your hair. Set. Ooh. Where'd you find that? I know. <laughs> it's always a surprise. 
Yeah, right? Perfect. Perfect. We need to do tutorials on how to braid. I know a lot of my friends are always like, how do you end up braiding her hair? She literally has no hair. <laughs> so you're doing a Dutch braid right now? Yeah, we'll stick on top of the Dutch. Pray that I don't mess it up. Now that you're on the spot. I know. I never had this big of an audience. <laughs> So what, I mean, obviously the visible difference between a French braid and a Dutch braid, where the French braid kind of sits inside the hair and the Dutch braid is raised above the hair. It's kind of like mm -hmm. a boxer braid. So is it more or less just hand placement versus technique for the braid to be in versus out? It's both. Um, the hand placement, I never really know how to explain it. My hands just kind of have a mind of their own and they do what they want. <laughs> But um, I always have to continue to tell in my head to go under. So you're taking your end piece, which I'll grab right here. Tip your head down a little bit. You would take the outer section and it goes under your center. Okay. Easier to get a camera behind me. <laughs> and then you're gathering from one side at a time after you're going under each individual section versus yeah. taking two outside pieces at the same time and then crossing. Yeah, I always just go one side to the other. I'm always in my head, under, under, under. Because if I go over, I'm gonna mess up the braid. I think too, when your hands are, or your thumbs are facing up, you're almost always going to get a Dutch braid. If your thumbs are facing down, you're almost always gonna get a French braid. Because that was me when I started learning how to do the Dutch braid because I didn't know how. And one of my first assistants, actually, um, she taught me how to do it because I couldn't figure out how to get my hands to do it. And it was super frustrating. And so that was a really cool teaching moment for my assistant to teach me how to do a Dutch braid versus nice. the other way around. <laughs> I actually learned watching a YouTube video. Because I knew cheer season was coming and she asked for a braid for one of her practices and she goes, but I want it to stick on top like yours because I can Dutch braid my hair mm -hmm. and I can French braid my hair, but I could never do it to anybody else. So I watched this video and it was just like eye opening, like, wow, that is so easy. So we're going to... We're going to tie this off. I have a 500 pack of elastic rubber bands. <laughs> probably had this bag for three years. Don't eat the hair. <laughs> All right, you ready for your high pony? No. 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 Nope. This is her least favorite part. <laughs> I don't blame you, girlfriend. I had to call mine to stick mine in a ponytail and it was no oh. fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wet down her flyaway side. I know it's cold. I'm sorry. It's actually kind of warm. Is it? Yeah, because it was in your bag for like two weeks. It was in my bag for three a couple weeks. months. Three weeks. Really, our last competition was a month ago. Three weeks. Two months ago. Two weeks. <laughs> Turns out, two weeks. <laughs> she knows everything. Ooh. Ow. Sorry. Thought we had all your knots out. So high and tight, right, Lou? Woo! You like it up there? Sure. Okay. I'm just not gonna spray her hair down because I don't want her to get too sticky. Where's that bristle brush? Bristle brush. So for those of you who don't know, Brittany and I are kind of related. Um, our husbands are cousins, so our kids are second cousins. So just watching Lily, there's a bunch of faces that she's making that look like faces my kids make. It's hilarious. <laughs> I always see that in their pictures. I'm always like, Harper and Lily are like, like spitting images of each other. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Little plastic. We are so not back in cheer mode right now. This is so loose. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't seem to mind. Nope. But then we take her little pony. Mother. What? <laughs> Wrapping her band. The 
rest of the braid around her hair. And Lil, we don't have a bobby pin. It's all right, you're not allowed to use bobby pins on cheer hair anyway. So we would just end up stuffing it in there, but tip your head down. Ooh, girl, looking good. We're ready for a competition. We would top it off with a big cheer bow, which, did you even bring a bow? Okay. What kind of cheer parent people are we if we don't even have a bow? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go grab a bow now. <laughs> awesome. So what other styles do you guys typically use for competitions? Is it usually just ponytails or? Depends on the time we're waking up, especially for, we've done a few competitions out near Harrisburg, which is about a two and a half hour drive from us. We would wake up, oh God, 3 a.m. <laughs> and the coaches are usually really nice. They're like, you know, let's just go sleek ponytails, which is great. I can get up and do a ponytail in 10 minutes, mm -hmm. aside from throwing curls in her hair, which for her, I've been lucky. It takes me maybe 20 minutes to curl her hair, if that. Sure. It's usually done pretty quickly. You enjoy that part. Did you guys, when I was, when I was a kid and we did cheerleading, <laughs> we had rags that we like tied. Do you guys do that still? They, a lot of the girls who have hair more like my length and thickness, they will go to bed with um, kind of looking like perm rods, but like the foamy ones. Mm -hmm. I, I just, curlers, I guess, cold curlers. They would go with their high ponytails, they'd curl them up, and then they would put the bandana over top of it. There you yeah. Go. Yeah, we didn't use curlers. We really use like, literally you would cut up an old t-shirt and then like just have these little strips of fabric and then we'd roll the hair and then tie them. And then the same thing, like we just sleep with a bandana on and then yeah. you just untie the fabric and then your hair was all curly. Yeah, we've never done the fabric one. I've always done curlers when I was younger. Mm -hmm. She's back. Sit. Now let's throw your bow on. Scoot down. Too tall for me. There we go. Lily, you're looking good, girlfriend. <laughs> Pop that bow. No, look forward. There we go. Say cheese. Awesome. <laughs> How about a real smile? Okay, thank you. You are free to go. Thanks, Lily. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, is there any other hot tips that you can share with us for creating cheer hair? <laughs> <laughs> she is a nut oh man um cheer hair oh yes where is it i have the ultimate teasing comb so a lot of the or um those who do like tease ponies it's not necessarily her age group but like the bigger all-star cheerleaders they do like the really big teased ponytails um Jeez. yes teased i have this teasing comb it mm. has three layers to it is literally the best comb I have ever bought to tease hair. It's literally like one swipe and I have the best tease I've ever seen in my life. Definitely, if you're a teasing mom, you need a teasing comb. That's awesome. <laughs> and I actually got this at the drugstore. Oh, winning. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Are you eating Easter candy? Yeah, she's eating uh, jelly beans. Jelly beans. <laughs> How many are in there? Oh, <laughs> one big one. <laughs> awesome. So what have you guys, aside from homeschooling, been able to enjoy with this time off and reset? What did we get to build? That's the big thing we built outside. Birdhouse? We built a giant 24-inch by 24-inch birdhouse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it is Do you have any birds in there yet? Well, there might be. We haven't seen them yet, but I'm sure they're there. We got chickens. There's any eggs in there. Yeah, we can't climb up to it. It sits about maybe 15 feet up in the air. She's like, let's go look for bird eggs. I'm like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> yeah, we did that. We redid our whole deck. We've been cleaning. We threw away so much stuff, right? Oops. Yeah, you went through all of your toys and got rid of stuff. Just waiting for the donation offices to open back up so you can go drop a bunch of stuff off. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Dang. I think our first thing we're going to do outside of quarantine is definitely hitting a thrift store. 
with all these people getting rid of all their stuff, I'm like, they're going to be loaded with good stuff. Oh yeah. Everyone's kind of right. purging right now. Oh yeah. They're it's perfect toys. times. They're very old. Yes. They were your old toys. And broken. Oh jeez. <laughs> awesome. And some are not broken. Yeah, some are broken, some are not. <laughs> so what is something that you absolutely love doing hair-wise aside from cheerleader hair? I love updos. When I was in beauty school, we had a lot of updo competitions and not the glow. I took first place in quite a few. I love doing just playing in hair and manipulating it into ways that look elegant and sophisticated. I would love to especially do bridal hair eventually mm -hmm. one of these days. <laughs> Once there's weddings happening again. <laughs> exactly. I've seen so many virtual weddings and it breaks my heart because I used to be a wedding planner outside of like before beauty school and I'm like these people's their dreams are just destroyed right now and I love that some people are still doing it they're still making it work and still making it happen but it's just so eye-opening and surreal like how serious this is right now yeah well you figure there's so much money and time and preparation and planning like years oh, yeah. worth and then to just be like Whoop, nope That's just it. Done. <laughs> everything's canceled your venue shut down everything mm -hmm. it's so sad it's crazy for sure <laughs> she needs a juice break we all need a juice break. <laughs> You're crazy. That's a Kaiser face. I was just going to say. Yep. <laughs> all right, ladies, I will let you go to finish the rest of your Easter holiday. I appreciate you taking your holiday to spend with us and show us some cheerleading hair, especially Lily. You did a fantastic job. Hey, thank you. Thumbs up. No? No. All right, <laughs> All right my friends. We'll see you soon, and thanks for watching.